BitWit's coverage of CES 2018 is brought to you by Fantex and CableMod. Click the links in the description below for more info. What's up guys? So continuing our coverage of CES 2018, I got to stop by the EVGA suite and they had some cool stuff to show off. For starters, I got to check out their next generation SC15 laptop. This thing is super slim. Uh, it sort of builds upon the last gen SC15, which had a GTX 1060. That's now been upgraded to a GTX 1070 Max-Q. Um, so that's lovely. Eighth gen CPU, most likely. They weren't able to really give me full details on the actual processor, but uh, I think it's pretty safe to assume that that's the route that they're gonna go. They did confirm that it was Intel, so chances are it's gonna be a hexa-core CPU in here. Together with that 1070, it's gonna be quite uh, a powerful machine in a very slim profile. The CPU and GPU are gonna be using the same cooling solution as found in the last generation laptop, simply because according to EVGA, the new components aren't gonna be giving off that much more heat. They don't, you would think that they'd get a lot hotter than, uh, than their predecessors, but apparently not, not so much, so that's nice. Now I didn't get all the details on the display itself, but I can tell you that it's gonna be 15 inches and support G-Sync. So very buttery smooth playback, no tearing or anything like that. I'm imagining it's still 1080p like the last gen, uh, which is fine because that'll save some battery life and it also allows EVGA to bump up the refresh rate to, I think it's still 120. It was 120 hertz on the last model. It's at least 120 again, maybe 144. At the very least, most gamers won't even be able to tell between the two, to be honest, uh, and either one is gonna be very, very smooth. Um, this is gonna be launching at the end of March, right around the corner, so stay tuned for that. Next up, we've got Tube Elbows. I I'm just calling them Tube Elbows because EVGA hasn't even picked out a name for these yet, um, but they're little, uh, they're, they're used for shaping the, the tubes of your AIO coolers, uh, for example. Um, so, you know, if, you, if you're sick of your, your nasty tubes just hanging out of your case like someone's entrails, then this is the product for you. Um, but, you know, also from a functional standpoint, maybe your tubes are resting or pushing up uh, against the backplate of your GPU, causing it to sag more, or maybe it's running into your rear exhaust fan, um, which is obviously not very uh, good when it's trying to spin up. So, you know, and they, they look pretty hideous, honestly, when, when, when all the colors are mismatched, like they had it uh, demoed, but that was just to show that they're being sold uh, in, in a variety of colors. And I guess the other benefit here, depending on who you ask, is that uh, it sort of gives you more of a rigid tube look if that's the kind of thing you're into. Um, obviously, it's not gonna be perfectly straight and angled, but uh, it definitely uh, subdues some of those bodacious curves that we otherwise see on our AIO tubes. Coming Q2. Uh, next up, we've got the Z10 mechanical gaming keyboard. This is actually gonna be featuring kale blue or kale brown switches. And uh, it's got a built-in LCD, very, very, very attention grabbing that shows uh, various precision stats from the precision software, of course, like your GPU clock speeds, temperatures, and so forth. So that's actually pretty cool for just some nice at-a-glance monitoring. You don't actually have to have, uh, you know, your, your window up on your desktop to view that stuff, or like an OSD, for example. Additionally, we've got sliders for your volume and LED brightness. And uh, there's only red LEDs for now, but it is per key lighting. So you could, you know, just light up your number keys and WASD if you want to do a gaming profile or something like that. You get four multimedia buttons in the top right corner and five macro, oh, seven macro keys, uh, five on the left side of the keyboard and uh, two actually right next to the arrow keys. So, that, so that's very nice. Uh, a magnetic wrist rest, which can be removed fully if you don't like it, um, or you can actually pop it out at varying distances away from the keyboard just to make sure that you're fully supported and uh, maximizing the comfort for your wrists. And finally, my favorite feature of this keyboard is uh, the two feet at the bottom that you can pull out to sort of give a, give a nice little incline for more ergonomic typing. Those can be popped out with two quick release buttons which uh, just sort of flips them out really quickly. It's, it's, it's very fun to do. Uh, I've tested it myself. Yeah! <laughs> I'm rich! That was perfect. <laughs> and above all else, it makes a great accessory for any coin purse. You can expect this keyboard to arrive sometime in Q1 of this year. Moving on to our final product here is the Supernova 2200P2. That's a 2200 watt power supply. Holy smokes, with an 80 plus platinum uh, rated efficiency, a 12 volt rail with 183 amps of output. This thing is an absolute monster. I don't think I've ever seen a power supply with this much wattage. Um, I, I feel like 2018 seems to be the year of mining PSUs. Uh, I've seen a lot of other competitors so far um, releasing these units with very high wattage, high efficiency, and uh, fully modular design, of course, which makes things a little easier for all you Bitcoin miners out there, or crypto miners in general. Uh, you do need a 220 volt output to really take advantage of this thing at all. So, uh, sorry United States, you, I, I don't know, you'll have to MacGyver something to, uh, to actually use this. I really don't even know how quiet the fan runs, because uh, EVGA couldn't plug it in at their suite, so. 
<laughs> That's funny. So those are all the things that I wanted to talk about at the EVGA suite. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, feel free to toss me a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.